a very good evening to you all my friends today we have gathered here to understand what errors you made during submission of your assignments number 1 specifically about your profile as well as about your career goal essay and uh, as you have already at did already identified some problem areas and we have already discussed about it in last 15 days so now let's understand a much awaited uh, our analysis report that we prepared in last uh, 10 days or so first of all i would like to express my sincere thanks to you all for being part of this uh, this uh, you know data control and data analysis uh, activity and uh, i will like to also thank uh, diditi from kolkata who has been very active in preparing you know the comprehensive data that we are using it uh diditi help us a lot in uh, preparing this uh, you know uh, comprehensive data and based on that comprehensive data that she compiled i was able to do analysis of you know our research and result is in front of you so uh, the the aim of our uh, research was to increase the overall efficiency of content writing editing and publication at modlingua.com so this is our aim of the whole research you know that we did i will give you if, if you look at the left side we have total number of summer interns in 2018 is 135 total number of interns who participated in this project is 85 This is the graph that is being represented. This 135 is this blue part, and uh, you find this uh, magenta part is 85 numbers. So now uh, I will give you brief of what we we were supposed to do. The first we were supposed to evaluate the draft as well as the published version of interns profile. and the second part was to evaluate the quality of original profile photo as well and to prepare the final analysis report of errors and supply information such as total number of words in original content total number of words in published content total time taken to compare and find the errors total time taken to prepare the report and the fourth part is to supply precise information on errors committed by identifying the number of errors committed in given category of modeling or rubric i am referring to that rubric in which we had 10 point agenda and the last part was to supply additional information beyond modeling or rubric if you recall i had given you an assignment written as extra line that the rubric should follow be followed strictly however if you want to improve upon you have right and discretion to do so but this was not mandatory it was optional so a few of you have commented commented beyond the rubric as well which uh, i have always uh, uh, kept into consideration while preparing this report so now let's move on to you know what is there uh, in this uh, whole analysis part and that here comes findings of comprehensive analysis of all the profiles and essays on career goals of all 85 people so whenever we are talking about these profiles we are referring to in totality the 85 number of participants whose profiles as well as career goals were in the question so in total when we we had compared you know the profiles as well as career goals of all people of 85 people we had in total Thirty-four thousand two hundred and eighteen words in the original document of all people, and those people whose documents were edited, certain changes were brought in, certain errors were there, certain structures were pro were problematic. There were some some vocab problem. So while editing, the number of words have decreased. So the editor has decreased the number of words in totality. So earlier there was three thirty-four thousand two hundred and eighteen words. but the final version of all combined has become 33821 
total time taken to identify the errors. When I'm saying identify the errors, everybody who has spent in identifying whatever errors you had in your profile, total time taken is 1505 minutes in identifying the errors. And the total time that you took in preparing the evolution report in totality is 1939 minutes. This is what is being depicted in the graph. There is a blue part that talks about the original document, violet part and then yellow and then a little bluish one that talks about the time taken in minutes in, prepare, in, in preparation or identification of the errors. Okay. So now we move to the next part of our presentation. And that is again finding the comprehensive analysis of all profiles total number of errors how many number of errors were they you know in all these 34,000 approximately words so we have used our rubric and identified how many numbers of errors are there so errors related to article is 73 punctuation is 196 omissions 79 spelling mistakes 47 choice of words 128 Factual errors 18, consistency issues 67, grammatical problems 45, sentence structure 70, and formatting structure 110. So these were all you know errors that in totality you were able to identify and we were able to record it for our analysis. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is the graph of all these 10 points that we have talked about. These 10 points are articles, punctuations, omissions, spelling, choice of words, factual error, consistency, grammatical, structure, as well as formatting error. In, in totality, so thus we have 10 point agenda to control. Okay, so now uh, apart from these errors, if you recall, we have also talked about the size of photo we have also talked about you know the problem areas in the photo profile you know if you recall the size was 250 into 250 pixels right but there were students who have not uh, followed you know our instructions and they have done certain grave errors in totality so for example the, the you know if you see this uh, graph number four people who supplied the the photograph as per the required given size were approximately 40 in number and those who didn't do so they were 45 in number so out of 85 I'm talking talking about so 50 percent and less people have followed the, the parameters and guidelines required and rest others you know have not followed so 40 percent has followed and 60 percent have not followed and also check you know those who have followed the instructions they have done comparatively well and those who have not followed the instructions they have not only defaulted in terms of you know size of the picture but they have also defaulted in terms of the quality of the picture so those who had eye for the details their personality, their overall, you know, presentation or choice automatically get reflected. I mean, one can very well, uh, you know, uh, correlate with the relationship between being careful and being non-careful. If you are still little careful, you will do mistakes, but you will not do bigger mistakes. But if you are less careful and, uh, you know, casual about it, even if you were supposed to do small mistakes, you will end up doing a bigger mistake. So, for example, if you didn't follow the instructions, you supplied wrong size photograph. If you supplied wrong size photograph, you didn't care to supply a quality picture that could be presentable enough. So, this right side graph number five is depicting this, 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 you know, hypothesis of ours that those who follow the instructions, they came under acceptable standards. So, so out of these 40 uh, numbers, 20 were doing very well. They were excellent and 20 were excellent, uh, acceptable one. But the rest 60% who had defaulted in only size, they have also defaulted in quality.
so i'm just giving you a little you know hint about you know being careful and how it matters so let's move on to our next uh, slide that talks about you know overall assessment you know of the editing team so earlier whatever we have just talked about where assessment rather report of whatever you presented to us now our team has also something to say for for you so our team has you know uh, identified one parameter one category that is called attention for details on your your uh, you know work that is very important for us so in that we have five you know category one is excellent another one is good quality third one is satisfactory fourth one is poor and fifth one is very poor so when we talk of being excellent there were you know 20 number of people who were excellent when we saw of good there were 20 number of people who were good satisfactory there were 20 number of people who were satisfactory so in a way out of 85 profiles i will say 60 of the profiles were okay from our side but you know rest 25 were either poor or very poor so if, if they were very if they were poor we were able we were able to edit it ourselves but those who were very poor sorry to say we had to send those profiles back to our members and explain them that your profile is not up to the mark improve upon and then give it back to us so this is how our team has observed in your you know activity that you did now apart from paying attention on the detail part of yours our team has also have evaluated one aspect and that was called overall presentation so when we are talking about overall presentation of your work when i'm talking about work we are talking about your profile as well as career goal let's say we had another point and that is you know excellent good satisfactory poor and last one is rejected or redone i'm talking about you know those people who were not attentive enough you can correlate you know attention and overall presentation parameter if you are attentive you are doing excellent if you are you know if you are very attentive you are doing excellent if you are less attentive but still somehow doing good you remain good somehow you are able to manage you remain satisfactory if you if you if you were not very you know keen on your attention you became poor you i am mean, talking about the performance you know error and you know its performance very poor if you perform very poorly you were rejected or the work was to to be redone so based on this parameter we were able to you know define who are doing well and who are not doing well in fact if you go and study behavioral science there are now research you know that are being uh, focused towards studying you know the behavior of individual not for a particular time period but people are now also trying to study your bachpan you know childhood your your uh, you know whole history of growth psychological mental physical anything that is possible so if they study your all you know those certain parameters and rubric they can identify you as a good human being how much pressure you will be able to take up how much good you will be able to do what performance you you could do for the betterment of the company etc etc how much retaining capacity they will have so i mean now because of you know the technology part and artificial intelligence and big data analytic or you know blockchain etc etc there are lots of things happening you know in artificial world so they are adding you know a great advantage to human resource management training programs and what not so be very careful you know about you being you know careless in your attitude if you are careless in one part you will be careless automatically in other part i'm not saying 100% but one tends to be careless so it is always good to be sincere towards something and be insincere of course life is not very always sincerity you know you can be insincere when there is something casual friendship going on but if there is something professional i will suggest you to remain professional don't get it casual if you cannot handle just say i am sorry i am not in a position to handle then taking it and doing it casually because you will kill your time in casual activity and you will kill time of the other person who has engaged you 
so it is not being very professional be professional always if you are talking in terms of you know in a professional world otherwise just say i can't handle it i'm sorry and be happy then you know creating a negative image about yourself and uh, becoming casual and lethargic in life okay so now uh, with this overall presentation of the, you know your analysis as well as our analysis i would like to come to another point which is very important here to mention now understand how much time you know our editing team could have spent you had spent approximately 1500 minutes in preparation of your your report uh, or you know comparing your errors and at the same time preparation of the report but our team has devoted approximately 1200 minutes in total in your project in this particular assignment can you imagine 1200 minutes how much hours it takes you know if you divide 1200 into 60 minutes it becomes 20 hours of work you know just imagine 20 hours i am saying it's not 2 hours 20 hours in editing fixing your photographs preparation of your data analysis data sheet and then preparation of your this particular presentation which i am making in front of you so the break break is breaking uh, you know the break is 500 minutes was devoted in editing of your you know all profiles then uh, 200 minutes was devoted in fixing problems of your of your photographs and then 300 minutes was devoted by dgg for preparation of your you know comprehensive data and then i have devoted around 400 minutes in preparation of this analysis report so can you imagine how much time and hours that we have spent in this just, just trying to understand your problems and fixing it now there is another point and dimension to be added here you know if you had been little careful perhaps this 1200 minutes could have been reduced to to in total 500 minutes suppose if uh, there are let's say 85 you know uh presentation uh, or profile or career goals each career goal could have not taken more than 2 to 3 minutes in in you know just uh, reading it and publishing it and if you go through you know the analysis report that we have seen the maximum number of errors were not in synthesis in structure the errors maximum number of errors were not there in uh, in spelling mistakes they are there you know these errors in punctuation these errors are there in articles there are certain omissions i mean which you could control yourself you didn't need any third party intervention it could have been very easy for you to control it if you had given you know little attention to it if you had followed the instruction about you know the profile size 250 into 250 means 250 into 250 not 249 neither 280 neither 500 neither 800 and while submitting your profile there are people who have submitted their profile which has you know a school stamps imagine you are presenting yourself you know in front of of a company as a trainee and you are showcasing your profile with such a blurred photograph which nobody could recognize you your one particular photograph of yours has given you know a lots of a story to tell to your hr manager who is hiring you so this was internship program open for all you were able to come down to us we can still correct it but if this kind of error you present in front of the hr team which is hiring you and giving you salary i am 100% sure you are bound to be rejected just on these grounds so please be very careful when you are dealing with any professional body or any organization especially if somebody is hiring you be careful don't be casual okay so now with this uh, brief i will again move to another you know uh, present uh, 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 page 
and that is what are the key questions now so we have done all these big analysis we have devoted so much time we have calculated you know uh, that you know you did uh, lots of efforts in comparing your original as well as uh, final version of the document everybody has devoted at least 15 minutes in in preparation of the report and evaluation report somebody has spent around uh, more more than that but on average i'm saying 10 to 15 minutes in totality half an hour everybody has devoted in preparation of these reports so what is what all this data and whatever i have explained it to you what is the result how we solve it what are the key questions so the, our key questions are how do you improve the process i mean every i mean it's very important i mean we just don't identify the problems you know but how we improve it we have identified the problems so we will we can be able to improve by simply following four four points if you follow these four points i can give you a 100% guarantee that your mistakes that whatever you have done will get reduced to one tenth of the problems so you will be able to increase your efficiency by 10 times if you simply follow this 10 point sorry if you follow these four points that i have mentioned please follow it and i can give you 100 percent guarantee and assurance that you will improve by 10 times your efficiency so if your efficiency increases by 10 times your bargaining power with your hr team or anybody increases but if you don't improve and you continue to do these mistakes in spite of all caliber and talents you have your value as a human being will not go beyond donkey work so if you want to enter into the smart chain of workers or professionals you have to reduce the errors that you have made because those errors are really silly errors so the first one is be strict and follow all the parameters of compliance to the instructions given by the client or the project manager the idea is whatever the project manager told you do it many times project managers may give you wrong instructions but standard or procedure says first you follow whatever has been explained to you write an observation at the last moment if you find something you know go going against the spirit of the work if it is certainly going against the spirit of the work the project manager or the client will understand it and rectify it so if everybody has done the mistakes same mistake in one go you give a replace command and mistake will be resolved but if you don't follow a standard and 100 people are there 100 answers will be there so in controlling those 100 diversified answers it will be very problematic than controlling one you know undiversified error which will be done by everybody one replace command will replace one all single words you know but if you deviate from the compliance there will be a problem and that problem will be for all and it will kill your time as well as time of the management your time if you don't value no problem but the management will expect you to value their time because if you don't do that they will not be able to tolerate you for long now the second one follow mod lingua rubric you know if you don't have any parameters in life decided believe me just follow mod lingua rubric 10 points and this rubric is the result of our 20 years of efforts in translation and content writing business we have catered to approximately 1000 plus companies including top 10 companies of the world believe me we have learned from doing errors and correcting it every day every second we improve and we improve only when we have will to improve 
and we try to you know not repeat the same mistake again when i am talking about formatting just remember it is not only about you know the spacing of words but it also includes tags spaces margins font and font size you know font names are different and font sizes are different similarly paragraph settings so these rubrics have you know these points one is article punctuations omissions spelling mistakes choice of words facts consistency grammar sentence structure uh, structure formatting only 10 points and apart from this just add a second line of you know improvement and that is be careful and what being careful just add a second reading to the final draft before you are submitting any document to the client or to any person professional person one thing that you must take into consideration is read it once again before you finalize it but read it in a with a peace of mind if you don't have peace of mind and then you do it casually again you will bound to create a mistake so set aside that casual factor i am sure you will improve if needed you know take help of friends there are some good friends around you can just pass on and say hey can you please read it check if everything is fine there are some family members who are knowledgeable people and there are many various tools available you know apart from these now we have artificial intelligence and we have something like spell checkers we have something like grammar checkers we have plagiarism checkers as well you know and above and all the most important thing is be smart when i say be smart means you may not have to depend on your friends or family if you install artificial intelligence or induct artificial intelligence in your process so what is this artificial intelligence artificial intelligence are now those it tools which help you which act like you know passive brain for you and automatically gives these tools give you you know suggestions for improvement and by just simply inducting artificial intelligence into your content writing and proofreading process i can give you a guarantee that you can simply by click of a mouse you can control many you know punctuation errors articles omissions as well as spelling mistakes the minor ones you know which get left will create a cushion for you and you will remain a very good content writer or a translator if you deploy this artificial intelligence into your system so in next uh, you know our session which which we will we will conduct in next few minutes i would like to uh, uh, give you demo how to improve i we will just you know take one sample and uh, try and understand what is going on so now before i finish i would like to acknowledge two names one is diditi ghosh who has prepared the comprehensive data report for us and secondly all our interns who have participated in this data preparation process i understand many had faced problems but after all at the end you were able to do it and i feel very happy about it that you withstood all pressures and in spite of all my frustration at times which i have shown you through whatsapp messages you were able to deliver what was expected and finally with this i feel very happy to thank you all for creating a history in launching this rubric call modeling or rubric for language and translators community of india